Hello everyone, my name is David and I want to show you something that I've been looking forward to for a long time in buying and this is my new Titan SL 6600 scissor lift mid-rise hoist and tonight I'm going to show you this is the way it was delivered so if anyone is thinking about buying one and wondering exactly what's going to transpire I ordered this and paid for it on a Tuesday morning and the following day on a Wednesday at 1 o'clock it was sitting in my driveway and it came in on a truck with a uh, hydraulic tailgate and they lowered it to the ground and we uh, just wheeled it nicely inside here. The only thing was I wanted to make sure that I had the, that it was facing the right way. So I pulled the package off just to make sure before he left with his uh, power dolly that this part was showing and this is what you want to get here. This is the front with the, uh, the bracket on it to move it around. Okay, so, and anyway, if anyone's interested, I bought it from Equipment de Garage in Montreal, and for taxes in, with delivery, $2,800, which is a really good price, because I looked around a lot before I bought this, and when we... Um, finished with the video, I'll show you the reasons why I thought that this hoist was better than some of the other ones on the market. This here is the uh, hydraulic uh, motor and it's also the, uh, it's on two wheels and it's the dolly that hooks up to move the hoist and hooks into that uh, hole in the bracket and when I get it unwrapped uh, this is the the oil that comes with it and all the uh, attachments so basically in a nutshell this is this is how they shift it really nice very well packaged safe and sound everything you're going to need to put it together exactly and then as you can see in the picture, this will be one of the, uh, the cars that I want to be able to use it on to do brake jobs, front end work, tires. So we're really looking forward to this. And so stay tuned. It's a work in progress and we'll come back to it in a little bit. So, welcome back. Uh, this is a couple days later. Uh, in the beginning you saw how it was my new Titan uh, SL6600 hoist was delivered. Um, it's all set up now. This is actually a couple days later. But the actual setup only took uh, my buddy and I about one hour from the point where you saw it in the package. And I do have to say it was packaged really nice. Probably the hardest part of everything was getting rid of all the cardboard and everything. But it only took about one hour to get the hoist set up and get the oil in it and give it a trial lift. And uh, I've, you may see that I've got a couple of uh, two by tens down here. I have to lift different cars that I own. I have a couple of sports cars that are really low to the ground, so I have to put these on. But it still works quite fine for the El Camino here. So I'm just going to show you how it lifts now, and then I'm going to point out a couple of the reasons why I bought this hoist, and uh, extremely glad with it, 
and think that this is, is probably the, the best choice for myself anyway. This is the power unit and very similar to almost every scissor lift uh, car hoist and, and this is a, a, what they call a mid-rise. Once you get it out of the package the only things you have to do are screw this line on that's the only thing. Put this bolt this arm on there's four little bolts at the back bolt that on and just slide the release on open this up here and pour the fluid in and after that you're ready to go it's just plug and play basically as you lift it up and down a couple of times it automatically bleeds itself and you are ready to go it's on here the red button is the off and the white button will start to lift it as you'll see right now as it's going up you may hear the safeties clicking on There's the first one. The second one. And I only go up to the third one. Okay. Now that it's up, as always, you should lower it back down and until the uh, it engages that safety. There. Always do that to protect yourself. Now, I'm going to show you some of the reasons why I think this is the better hoist. For one, if you can see these legs here, it's one of the only hoists I could find that has three casters on each one of the main legs. Now, I believe that Titan put them on to distribute the weight on it and stop it from gouging the concrete because you never know with concrete when it gets older if it's going to start to crumble. So, better to be safe and get something like this. Um, also, if you can see these arms here, Titan, I think, is the only manufacturer, it's hard to see, but these are rubber coated. There's probably a good eighth of an inch of rubber along the whole one, the whole arm, as well as underneath as well. And I think the reason that they put it underneath is because the finish on this is really nice and I've seen some that are pretty crude so that when you're moving this back and forth that it's not going to scuff the paint it's always going to look as good as the day you bought it and also if you choose there's different ways of uh, setting it up I'm, I'm using the, what they call a truck adapter here and it's adjustable and threaded you can also take this out of here and put it in this threaded hole as another option or you can take these right off and just use this one and it has a nice rubber protective piece on it too or again you could take this off take this off and just let this piece touch against the frame as well uh, which would be fine if you have uh, a unit body car and as long as you get it on the, the part, the jacking post. So it, it gives you lots of options. Um, another thing, I looked at a few hoists be before I bought this one. And I looked at one brand new one that a body shop bought. And I asked them, I said, do you have any problems with it? They'd only owned it for a week or so. And he said, there is a couple of things. He said, if, if we lift it up and we only go up about a foot and then we stop and then we decide we want to go higher, this hoist won't go up. We have to lower it back down again and then lift it up again. 
And he showed it to me, and he was right. The other thing that I noticed on his hoist was that when it, as it was lifting up, this back part here doesn't have wheels on it. It should be stationary. The only part that should be moving are these legs. On his hoist, if it was actually both of them moving. It shouldn't happen like that. This one does not operate like that. This one operates fine. I think one of the main reasons his hoist acted up was because it only had the one center wheel. The weight wasn't distributed, so it was digging in, and it was easier for that to slide in. So, anyway, it's just something to keep in mind, and it's one of the reasons I chose this one. Another good thing, well, actually, this one here, if you can see, this is the 6,600 pound. It's rare. Most of the scissor lift hoists are 6,000 pound rating. Another thing that I like about this hoist, it has, this is the hydraulic line. This one has a protective uh, sheath on it, and you'll see this on uh, commercial vehicles or tractors. I don't know why other manufacturers don't do it, but Titan does. And when you think about it, this hose has to lay on the ground. There's no other place for it. So this protects it, because it's going to be moving around and getting scuffed. If you don't have that, it's common sense. It's a, it's a wear factor. One other thing I'd like to point out is the height of your garage, okay? My ceiling is only seven foot nine, so I can't totally lift this hoist up to its limits, which is probably going to be another foot and a half higher. But even so, it works perfect for me for doing tires and suspension and brakes. So. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to my video. Thank you.